we know that the Bessemer vote is under uh, protest right now. Uh, the Bessemer vote that took place in Alabama, the um, attempt by some of the Amazon, uh, some of the uh, Amazon workers there to unionize. Um, the union representing these folks have filed with the National Labor Relations Board uh, a complaint that the election was not free and fair. There are multiple instances of, well, there are plenty of instances that we know of where Amazon spent millions of dollars in trying to discourage people to vote for the union. We also know that there were things that were sort of less with inside the bounds, and the bounds are very, very wide, um, in which they did, including putting a temporary ballot box uh, on Amazon property because they probably have data that shows that when you suggest for people to vote there, people who are voting against may feel more intimidated to vote against or those who, you know, there may be a sense of like, hey, they're watching us. I get a vote even if I'm sort of on the fence et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but the National Labor Relations Board is taking a look at that. Meanwhile, uh, Bernie Sanders um, made a point of giving a, a hat tip to those workers in Bessemer. Uh, here he is. Good to have you here. I, I was disappointed, but I was actually a little bit surprised uh, that that Amazon was so successful in its efforts. And I want to make that clear. This wasn't just workers who decided to vote on something. Amazon played a remarkable role, including uh, requiring people to attend meetings and sort of intimidating them with the idea that if you unionize, our costs will go up and we may have to lay some of you off. Look, Ali, you got to give enormous credit. Uh, to the courage of the workers in Bessemer, Alabama. They, here you are in an anti-union state. You are taking on one of the largest, most profitable corporations in the country, the wealthiest guy in the world. And you are living under terrible working conditions. I was down there. These people are monitored from the moment they get on the job. It is very hot. It is a huge facility. They got a half hour break for lunch and it takes them 10 minutes to walk to the break room. Uh, and all they wanted was the opportunity to sit down and negotiate better wages, better working conditions. And Bezos and the company spent a huge amount of money to defeat that effort. Uh, and that tells me that among many other things, we need strong pro-labor legislation, which says that workers in America must have the constitutional right to form a union. And right now it is so difficult, whether it's Amazon, whether it is Walmart, whether it is any one of these large corporations, companies have so much power to threaten and intimidate, to put people into closed rooms and to tell them over and over again how terrible unions are. We've got to change that. I want to ask you what model you use for that, because we, you talk about being in an anti-union state and, and the fact that so many companies are, are anti-union, but it doesn't have to be that way. If you look at Germany, for instance, union members have a seat at the board, so decisions don't tend to be made uh, excluding workers. You don't have this animus relationship between union members right. and workers versus the company. This is fixable. Absolutely, and it's not only that in Germany workers are members of boards, of large corporations, what we are seeing. In there you go. Um, at the very least, uh, there's some attention that's being paid to this. Obviously, uh, Joe Biden um, uh, mentioned organizing that was going on in Alabama. There's a lot of other, um, uh, I think, failures by the union, frankly, in terms of of uh, of this whole process. Um, but we and we're going to probably uh, get into that uh, over the next uh, week or two as we look back on this, we get more information. But the bottom line is there needs to be a pro act that is going to protect workers, broadly speaking, where you don't need to have a um, the, the the strongest union, the most savvy union. You don't need to have you you have a level playing field where you don't have to have a union going up against $25 million worth of a campaign that's being dropped on there, thousands per vote, practically. Exactly. And 
And you mentioned the 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 USPS Dropbox um, from from uh, earlier in the show, and it, it I in doing some research on USPS for an interview I did uh, last week. Amazon is its biggest client, or I think one of its biggest clients too. So there's that kind of relationship there where they were able to use their power and wield it in order to maybe tilt the scales. And that was just one of the many stories, changing traffic lights so yep. that um, Amazon union organizers couldn't canvas or, or uh, talk to people as they drove into the facility. And the fact is, is that Alabama is as... Um, anti-union as it gets so it was a difficult place to start but the fight continues of course 